creating a watercolor effect in Procreate is actually a lot easier than you might think, and I'm going to show you how in this video. I'm using two brushes that are available on our website in the link below. There is a watercolor lettering brush, which is what we're going to start out with. So first we need to choose two colors by tapping on the color menu in the top right corner, and then we have a primary color and a secondary color. I'm going to use blue and pink. Choose any two colors, and it doesn't matter which one is on the left or the right. To change the color of one, you just need to tap on the square and then pick a color, either from your color palette or your color wheel. After you have your colors chosen, you can go ahead and start creating your lettering. With this brush, you'll see that every time you pick up your pen and create a new stroke, the color is going to change somewhere between that pink and the blue color. If you find that Procreate randomly is giving you too much of one color in the same area, you can just undo the stroke and then continue trying until you get a better stroke color. So after you finish writing out all your words, we're going to blur the colors together wherever they overlap or intersect to make it look more realistic like it's wet paint. First, we need to alpha lock the layer. So open up your layer menu, tap on the layer, and then choose alpha lock from the pop out menu. Then we're going to blur it by going to the image adjustments, which is the magic wand in the top left menu and choose Gaussian blur, choose layer. And then as you drag your pencil on the screen to the right, you'll see the percentage blur increase. And I like to go around five to 7%. After your colors are blurred together, we're going to create the watercolor paper texture. Create a new layer and move it below your lettering layer. Choose a light gray color and choose the paper texture brush that we included in our set. And then with the brush size at 100%, just color over the entire layer. To make it so that you can actually see the texture through the letters, we're going to change the blend mode of the lettering layer by opening the layers menu, tapping on the N to open the blend modes and scroll from normal up to multiply. And now you can see the texture showing through. So using just these two brushes with the settings that we've built into them, you can create some really realistic watercolor lettering in Procreate very quickly. You can find these brushes in our link below this video. Thanks for watching.